Did you know that some of the greatest success stories in history were built on failure? If you want to unlock your full potential, you need to start viewing setbacks not as obstacles, but as stepping stones. Failure has always carried a stigma. Society often paints it as something to avoid at all costs, a sign of weakness or inadequacy. But here's the truth, failure isn't the end of the road, it's the start of a transformation. It's the moment you learn, adapt, and grow stronger. Think about it. How many times have you hesitated to take a risk because you were afraid to fail? What if that fear is holding you back from something extraordinary? Today, we're diving deep into a mindset shift that will redefine how you see failure and risk. From small failures that spark growth to the winding journey of self-discovery, we'll explore how every misstep can lead to incredible breakthroughs. By the end of this journey, you won't just be ready to face failure. You'll embrace it as one of your most powerful tools for growth. Ready to turn your setbacks into success? Let's get started. Number one, reframing failure. A stepping stone, not the end. Let's start with a thought. What if every time you failed, it wasn't a setback, but a setup for something bigger. Picture a child learning to walk. They stumble, they fall, but each fall isn't the end. It's a step toward mastering balance, toward running freely. That's how growth works. It's messy, filled with slips, but it's always moving forward. Failure often feels like a full stop. It's that heavy weight of inadequacy, the inner voice whispering, you're not good enough. But what if failure wasn't proof of our limitations? What if it was evidence of our courage to try? Every time you fail, you're collecting proof of your resilience, your ability to adapt, and your determination to get back up. Think back to a time in your life when you failed at something important to you. Maybe it was a job interview, a relationship, or a personal goal you didn't achieve. That sting, that ache of disappointment, it's unforgettable. But now, looking back, can you see how those moments shaped you? Maybe they redirected your path, taught you a lesson, or even gave you the strength to persevere in other areas of your life. Nostalgia has a way of softening those memories, revealing the growth hidden within them. So, what if the next time you fail, instead of thinking, I've reached the end, you thought, I've reached a turning point. It's not easy, of course. But reframing failure as a stepping stone can change how you approach life. Imagine seeing every setback as a lesson, every closed door as a push toward a new one. What new opportunities might you discover? How might this shift transform your relationships, your career, your dreams? Number two. Risk as a bridge to possibility. Think about the most exciting moments of your life. Maybe it was a leap of faith, a spontaneous trip, starting a new job, or even saying yes to love. Those moments filled with both exhilaration and uncertainty didn't come from playing it safe. They came from taking a risk. And isn't it fascinating that those are the moments we hold closest to our hearts? Risk often carries a bad reputation. We're taught to equate it with danger, with something to avoid. But risk is rarely about recklessness. It's about stepping into possibility. Imagine standing on the edge of a bridge. Behind you is everything familiar, everything safe. Ahead is the unknown, a chance to grow, to achieve, to transform. Crossing that bridge is terrifying, but it's also the only way forward. Now, Think back to a time when you chose not to take a risk. Maybe you stayed in a job you didn't love, hesitated to express your feelings to someone, or avoided pursuing a dream because the stakes felt too high. Nostalgia can be bittersweet, can't it? Those what-ifs linger. But what if you could see risk differently, not as a gamble, but as an investment in your future? The truth is, every risk you take is a statement of belief in your potential. It's a declaration that you're willing to bet on yourself. Yes, there's a chance things won't go as planned, 
but what if they go better than you ever imagined? What if that leap of faith leads to a version of your life that feels more vibrant, more aligned with who you truly are? Number 3. The Power of Learning from Setbacks Imagine this, you're climbing a steep mountain trail. The path is uneven and you trip on a rock. You fall, dust yourself off and keep climbing. Every stumble slows you down, sure, but it also teaches you to watch your step, to find your footing. That's the beauty of setbacks. They don't define the journey, they refine it. It's easy to see setbacks as failures, as signs that we're moving in the wrong direction. But every challenge you face is actually a chance to gather insight, to understand what works and what doesn't. When you learn to embrace setbacks, they become tools, not roadblocks, in your journey forward. Think back to a time when life threw you a curveball. Maybe it was an unexpected layoff, a breakup, or a personal project that didn't pan out. At the time, it probably felt like the end of the world. But now, looking back, can you see how those experiences shaped you? Maybe they pushed you to develop new skills, build stronger relationships, or find a different path that better suited you. Nostalgia often reveals the hidden value in our struggles. So, what if you stopped fearing setbacks and started welcoming them as opportunities? What if, instead of seeing them as signs to stop, you saw them as signals to adjust and move forward? Imagine the possibilities. What could you learn from your next challenge? How might it strengthen you, prepare you, and even propel you toward your goals? Number four. Small failures as catalysts for growth. Have you ever noticed how some of the most powerful lessons in life don't come from grand victories, but from the tiniest missteps? Think about the times you forgot something important, made a wrong turn, or even burnt your breakfast. At the moment, they felt like inconveniences or annoyances, but later they became lessons in preparation, attention, or resilience. Small failures, often overlooked, are the unsung heroes of personal growth. Let's start with a positive moment. Imagine a child learning to ride a bike. Every wobble and fall is met with scraped knees and frustrated tears. But with each small failure, they adjust, recalibrate and try again until one day they're pedaling confidently. Now think about your own life. How often have small failures nudged you toward a better version of yourself? Small failures are the body's and mind's way of saying, pay attention, there's something to learn here. These moments don't knock us off course, they refine our paths. When you failed to meet a deadline at work, you probably learned to manage your time better. When you miscommunicated with a loved one, it likely taught you the importance of clarity and empathy. These minor stumbles build a framework for success. Now let's shift to nostalgia. Do you remember a time when you took on something new and faltered? Maybe it was learning to cook a new recipe, taking your first swing at golf, or speaking in front of a crowd. At the time, you might have felt embarrassed or discouraged. But looking back, weren't those small failures crucial? They set the stage for progress. They're the reason you can now whip up that perfect meal, hit a clean drive, or speak confidently. Here's the curiosity piece. What would happen if you embraced small failures instead of fearing them? What if every mistake became a question, what can I learn from this? How might your relationships improve, your career grow, or your confidence soar? if you started to see every small failure as a stepping stone to something greater. Number five, the investment of taking risks. Let's dream for a moment. What would your life look like if you took that risk you've been avoiding? Imagine leaving behind the fear, the hesitation, and leaping toward a new job, a relationship, or a dream. It's exhilarating, isn't it? That's the power of risk. It's an investment not just in an outcome, but in yourself. Risk often feels like walking into the unknown, and that can be terrifying. But consider this 
No investment, whether financial, emotional or personal, comes without a degree of uncertainty. The act of taking a risk is a bold declaration that you value your potential enough to bet on it. The payoff, growth, learning and sometimes extraordinary success. Think back to a moment when you took a risk. Maybe it was moving to a new city, leaving a stable job or confessing your feelings to someone. At the time, you might have doubted yourself, but looking back, wasn't it worth it? Even if things didn't turn out as planned, you grew in courage and gained clarity. Those experiences shaped who you are today. Here's the curiosity kicker. What risks are you avoiding right now? Is it a dream you're postponing, a conversation you're hesitating to have, or a change you're afraid to embrace? What if the very thing you fear is the gateway to your most profound transformation? Number six, listening to your inner compass. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine standing in a crowded room. Voices surround you, each one offering advice, opinions or judgments. Amid the noise, it's easy to lose sight of your own voice, the quiet, steady guidance of your inner compass. But what if you learned to tune out the noise and trust yourself? Your inner compass is your intuition, your values, your sense of direction. It's the part of you that knows what feels right, even when logic or external pressure suggests otherwise. Listening to it is an act of self-respect and self-trust, a way of honoring who you truly are. Now, think back to a time when you ignored your inner compass. Maybe you followed the crowd, pursued a career path that didn't feel right, or stayed in a situation that no longer served you. Nostalgia has a way of bringing these moments into focus, but it also reveals something beautiful, the lessons learned and the clarity gained when you finally chose to listen to yourself. Here's the curiosity piece. What decisions are you facing right now? Are you listening to your inner compass or are you letting external voices steer you? Imagine how your life might change if you fully trusted your own guidance what opportunities could you seize? What peace might you find? Number seven, breaking free from self-doubt. Self-doubt is like a shadow. It follows you, whispers in your ear, and makes you question your worth. But here's the thing, shadows only exist where there's light. That means no matter how heavy self-doubt feels, it's proof that there's something bright within you waiting to shine. Let's start with a moment of happiness. Think about a time when you accomplished something you initially doubted you could do. Maybe it was nailing a presentation, completing a workout, or learning a new skill. That feeling of triumph, of proving yourself wrong, it's unforgettable, isn't it? Self-doubt often stems from fear, fear of failure, judgment, or not being enough. But what if you saw it as a challenge instead of a barrier? Each moment of doubt is an opportunity to show yourself what you're capable of. It's a chance to rewrite the narrative in your head from I can't to what if I can. Looking back, have there been times when self-doubt held you back? Maybe it stopped you from pursuing a dream or speaking up for yourself. Nostalgia brings those moments into focus, but it also highlights your strength. Despite the doubt, you're here you've grown, and you've achieved so much. So, what would happen if you chose to believe in yourself right now? Imagine the doors that could open, the confidence you could build, and the dreams you could chase. Number eight, building confidence through small wins. Confidence isn't built overnight. It's not a sudden epiphany or a grand moment of realization. It's built through small, consistent wins, the tiny victories that remind you of your strength and capability. Think about the last time you accomplished something small but meaningful. Maybe you stuck to a morning routine, completed a task on your to-do list, or reached out to a friend you hadn't spoken to in a while. Those moments, though seemingly minor, are the building blocks of confidence. Confidence grows when you honor your commitments to yourself. 
each small win is proof that you can trust yourself, that you're capable of taking action and achieving results. Over time, these wins compound, creating a foundation of self-belief. Now, let's reflect. Can you think of a time when you doubted your ability to achieve something but broke it down into smaller steps? Nostalgia reminds us of how far we've come, of the strength it took to build momentum from those small beginnings. What small wins could you aim for today? What habits could you build, goals could you set, or actions could you take to nurture your confidence? The answers might surprise you, and they might be closer than you think. Number 9. The Winding Path to Self-Discovery Life isn't a straight line. It's a winding path, filled with twists, turns and detours. And yet, each step, no matter how uncertain, leads you closer to discovering who you are. Think about a time when you felt lost or unsure of your direction. Maybe you changed careers, ended a relationship, or moved to a new city. At the time, it might have felt like you were wandering aimlessly. But looking back, can you see how those moments shaped you? They weren't detours, they were part of the journey. Self-discovery is about embracing the unknown, about being willing to explore and experiment. It's not about having all the answers, it's about asking the right questions. What questions are you asking yourself right now? What do you want? Who do you want to become? And what steps can you take today to move closer to those answers? Number 10. Embracing imperfection and trusting the journey. Perfection is a myth, a shiny, unattainable ideal that keeps us stuck. But imperfection? That's where the magic happens. That's where we grow, connect, and truly live. Think about the last time you made a mistake. Maybe it was something small, like forgetting an appointment or something bigger, like letting someone down. At the moment, it probably felt awful. But over time, those imperfections become part of your story, your humanity, your growth. What would your life look like if you embraced imperfection? If you stopped striving for flawless and started aiming for authentic? Every misstep, every imperfection is proof that you're living, trying and growing. Trust the journey. It's not about reaching a destination, it's about learning to enjoy the ride. In the end, the journey to reframe failure, embrace risks and trust the winding path of growth is about more than just success. It's about discovering your true self. If you've made it this far, you're not just a listener, you're part of the rare 0.01% who take action and finish what they start. That's a testament to your resilience and determination to grow. Drop a hundred in the comments if you're committed to embracing failure as a catalyst for change. If you're serious about transforming your life and unlocking your full potential, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Together, we'll keep pushing boundaries, breaking barriers and achieving greatness. Your journey starts now.